God bless you out there, YouTube. In North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. For the glory be to God. Jesus is going to shake the nations. New prophecy. New prophecy. Prophecy on United States of America. 2012. Fresh from the throne room of God. Fresh manna from heaven. It's going to be a close election here in the United States of America. But Antichrist Obama will win a second term as President of the United States. So we got this fresh manner from heaven right here. This is Prophecy of the United States of America 2012. Here it is right here. Here it is, fresh manner from heaven. God gave this to me yesterday on June the 2nd, 2012, in 20 minutes. Prophecy on the United States of America in 2012. Just like the Mississippi River divides this great nation from the west to the east, the 21st century civil war has taken a toll on its existence. In a close election, the seventh term President Obama will be elected for a second term. Antichrist Obama will win for Bible prophecy has to be fulfilled for the glory be to God. The U.S. Congress, Tower of Babel, will be destroyed for the people will vote out the incumbents. The Wall Street golden calf will come tumbling down like the walls of Jericho. Uncle Sam's 10-year U.S. Treasury bonds will go into the bottomless pit. The European Union meltdown will come to the seas of the shiny seashore of America. YouTube has a buzzword sound that sends alarm to the New World Order for censorship. To all the Christians to save our depressive nation, pray and fast like you never have before. The Hollywood Mongols gurus are trying to brainwash, brainwash us in the movies with their new age thinking. Please beware of wolves in sheep clothing. Remember, united we stand in God, and divided we fall without God. May the God of Israel bless the holy blessed USA forever. And I got a little scripture to go with this prophetic word on prophecy on the United States of America in 2012 here. This is what we got to do to the United States of America. That we turn our back on God. We got to come back to God here. Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verses 5 through 9. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me, that ye should do so in the land, whether ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear these uh, statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great who hath God so nigh unto them as the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for? And what nation is there so great that hath statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day? Only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou Forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and least they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. But teach them, thy sons and thy sons' sons. And may God have blessing upon his word. It is in the Holy Bible. And that's the prophecy. For the glory be to God. You heard it here on George and Batty's channel here on YouTube that uh, the prophecies that I just read and all I have to say Christians praying fast because the next four years we're going to see uh, United States of America fall apart like hell in a handbasket the world's going to go uh, uh, be destroyed and, and they're going to come at the Christian but God's reign is going to be march on to the beautiful city of God God's Christian prayer warriors they'll make it for the glory be the God of the world will be destroyed. God will raise up the Christians. The United States of America is in a great 21st century civil war like we've never seen before. Muslims against Christians, rich against poor, straight against gay. 
and Antichrist will, Obama will win the second term to be president of the United States. It will be a cliffhanger. It will be a horse race. It will be a closer election. Maybe even closer than uh, George Bush and Al Gore election there. But Antichrist Obama, four more years because Bible prophecy has to be fulfilled in Revelation chapter 13. So you heard it first on George and Betty Kelly's channel. And if somebody don't know Jesus Christ as a personal Savior out there, right now, I'm going to say this prayer and for the glory be to God. Turn your life over to Jesus Christ, your greatest decision. And Jesus returning soon. These are great days to be alive. Say this prayer with me. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. Jesus Christ. He will save your soul. He'll forgive your sin. He'll, he'll, your new name be written in the book of life. You'll be born again. Say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus Christ, I am a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, I accept you as a personal Savior. Lord Jesus Christ, I repent for my wicked way. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for forgiving me for my sin. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for writing my name in the land book of life. I love you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen, amen. You said that prayer, Jesus Christ, just saved your soul. Give him the best hand clap. Raise your hand to heaven. Jesus Christ, just saved your soul. Your greatest decision in your life. Keep praying for George and Betty channel on YouTube. And we'll be praying for you. We'll be praying and fasting for you. All you people that accepted Jesus Christ, your personal Savior tonight, look on our comment page on our profile. Email us. Uh, see our address. Mail us. And on YouTube, the last two weeks in this prophecy, uh, YouTube's got a, a kind of, <clears throat> sounds like a buzzer like games over here. They got a signal here that goes out to New World Order like a type of censorship. And YouTube, uh, shame, shame on YouTube. Take that funny sound off of all videos. And maybe the signals can't go out in cyberspace. Maybe they censor that word when it kind of sounds like a buzzer going off. And YouTube, game is over for the New World Order. God's Christians is going marching on. Uh, on the highways and the byways, the highway of holiness. And where was that thing on YouTube? I guess you others been hearing it. With your ears, I've been watching other videos, and then you'll say a buzzword for the new world order, and then YouTube will make that sound <clears throat> kind of like games over, like somebody hitting a, uh, a switch or making a funny, strange sound. But anyway, keep your eyes upon Jesus. Me and Betty Kelly love you, and I thank Jesus for it. Keep praying for George and Betty Kelly here, Lisa the Butter Ministries in Pinckneyville, Illinois. And please subscribe to me, new people. I'm going to give out the prophetic message. This is from the throne room of God. Me and baby, YouTube prophet to the nations. For the glory be to God. We love you all. Have a good night. God bless you.